Hi guys, thank you for joining us for this presentation on SuperSite customization. My name is Sridhar Luthria and I manage all reseller club operations. Now before I actually go ahead, uh, I'd just like to, uh, you know, clarify that the customization of a partner site is identical to that of the SuperSite. So any and every aspect discussed in this webinar for the SuperSite is almost identical for the partner site as well. Now, uh, just to tell you something uh, a little bit, you know, a little bit more about the super site. Uh, you know, when we actually started developing the super site, I think what, you know, the development team, the usability team, and, you know, even us marketing guys were in consensus about was that we wanted to actually create an interface that made you feel like it was as good as using an API, but without actually having to bother about the code at the back end. Apart from that, we also wanted to make sure that we didn't just offer you, uh, you know, a basic five page template, which is, you know, like an excuse for a website, because, you know, at the end of the day, if, uh, you know, if, if you are to be able to uh, uh, run your business with this website, then, you know, we have to be sure that we give you all the required marketing content. Uh, you know, we make sure that the website is comprehensive in nature for you to be able to sell products and services to your customers and sub resellers now obviously uh you know if we wanted to achieve all this uh you know it would mean that we also needed to make sure that we gave you the flexibility to actually customize all this that was available on the website so the idea was to try and actually expose every small bit of the website for editing and and you know while we've actually been able to do that Obviously, because the amount of options available now, it has, it has, you know, increased the time taken to actually get familiar with the admin area. Now, today, I'm actually going to try and keep simple things simple. So while I actually do this, if there is any doubt that you may have or on, you know, any aspect uh, uh, of the super site or the admin area, or if there's anything that you'd like me to cover uh, and, you know, I have not, uh, you can, you know, just take make a note of that and probably shoot out a mail to webinar at resellerclub.com you could also shoot out a mail to sales at resellerclub.com or you could email me directly at sridhar.l at resellerclub.com and i'll actually be showing you guys these email addresses again towards the end of this presentation so let's move on uh, now what I've basically done is uh, I've created this uh, small little PowerPoint presentation that just helps us keep track of where we are during this presentation. Um, now, honestly, I'm actually going to be switching back and forth between several slides. And while I actually do this, it can get a little confusing because I'll be uh, actually explaining things for which you might not find the related content on the screen. So this PPT might just actually help us keep track uh, you know, of where exactly we are in this presentation. So the first thing I'll be covering is uh, what is the SuperSite admin area? And, uh, you know, just as the name itself suggests, it's it's basically almost like a control panel in itself uh, that basically, you know, helps you perform any kind of customization or any kind of administration function on the SuperSite apart from the URL setting. Now, if you want to set your URL or brand your URL, that obviously needs to be done from the reseller control panel that we give you itself. Now I'm uh, going to switch to another window right now. So just give me a second. Right. So this is your, uh, this is what the super site looks like whenever, you know, any reseller signs up with us. Obviously what it can look like at the end of the day is completely up to you and how you go about your customization. Uh, and I was earlier on talking about the admin area. Now, the first thing that I want to cover is how do you actually get to the admin area? So there are two basic ways of doing that. One is by going into your reseller control panel. This is your reseller control panel. Now over here, you can go to settings, super site and partner site, customize super site. And then you click on it and it opens the admin area. Now, the other way of actually doing this is by using the super site URL right and then just adding admin after that
and once you're here you need to use the same credentials uh, that I used that you used to log into your reseller control panel so it's already pre-filled for me over here I click on login and this is what your super site admin area looks like at the beginning now without trying to make matters uh, confusing I'd just like to mention one thing here that the super site is a completely separate entity from the order box and is run and managed independently so how does this actually affect us I'll uh, I'll cover that a little later when I actually cover certain miscellaneous customization aspects for now I'm gonna move back to the PPT to see what is the next point to be covered right different components in the admin area let me just go back to uh, the admin area once again uh, so coming back to this admin interface there are two main aspects that you really need to understand uh, there is the languages section this languages section basically uh, you know allows you to add or translate or edit the content of the super site along with that it also gives you access to all the HTML structure files within the super site so if you want to modify the HTML directly or the HTML structure directly then you can do that within the languages section uh, the other aspect are themes or you know a theme a theme is basically uh, you know what defines the look and feel of your super site so let's say you know your language defines the content of the super site and then to give all that content a basic look and feel you need to associate that language with a particular theme and that's that's very important to note that a language and a theme are always associated with each other as you can see over here this this is the English language and the site theme that it's associated with is my theme which is this theme now uh, another important point to note over here is that when you sign up or when you start uh, you know your reseller account and you get access to the super site admin area by default you have an English language and a classic blue theme which well now is known as my theme so this is pre-created by default any new language added or any new theme added is added with these same default settings and then it's up to you as to how you actually go and modify that and I'll cover that slightly later on so let me actually just go back to the presentation right now so the next point is adding and editing my languages super site and moving back to the to the interface right so uh, to add a new language it's a fairly simple process you need to click on add new language super site now as I told you you can choose the language uh, that you want to add you know let's say we want to add Chinese simplified right again uh, when we select Chinese simplified over here the content that will appear would not automatically be Chinese content but would be the default English content that could be translated by you based on your own preferences you can then choose whether it should uh, support RTL which is re uh, right to left text and then apply a theme to it currently there's only one theme of course this also gives you the option of directly creating a new theme from here let's just use the current theme and click on add and that's it your language is created